No me gusta esta película. Esta película no es buena. No es buena. Hi there, welcome to Marcus Loves Movies with me, Marcus Lee. This is my review of The Paramedic, or to give it its Spanish title, El Practicante. It was directed by Carles Torres. It stars Mario Cosas, Deborah Francois, and Celso Bugayo. I hope I've said all of those names right. It is a Spanish film. And the reason I wanted to watch this film is for two reasons. One, it was trending on Netflix, which is actually not always a good idea because just because something's trending doesn't mean it's good. It just means a lot of people are watching it. And secondly, it's a Spanish film because, like I've said in previous reviews, I think it's good to watch films from all around the world that maybe have subtitles on because there's some great cinema out there. But also, I've been learning Spanish. So going back to the start of the, the big UK lockdown in March 2020, when we're all confined to our homes and we could only go for one mandated walk, etc., and we all thought, well, let's learn a new skill while we're locked down. I decided I'm gonna learn Spanish. So thanks to the smartphone app Duolingo, I've been learning Spanish, I've been learning basic Spanish, and you know, you start feeling quite confident because you're thinking, well, I'm learning some words here. I can say the library needs three computers. You can say basic things like that, and then you actually watch. Spanish television, you watch a, a Spanish show, I've been watching Money Heist, and then you, you hear real Spanish people speaking, and it's like 100 miles an hour, and you're thinking, yeah, I'm about four years away from understanding Spanish properly. But still, it's good to watch things in other languages, so I thought I'll, I'll watch some more Spanish productions. So here I am watching The Paramedic, which is about a couple called Angel and Vanessa, who are trying for a baby, living in an apartment, he works as a paramedic, she works in a call centre and she's also trying to study and better their lives. Their life doesn't look that wonderful. Angel's not a particularly nice guy. He works as a paramedic but he he happens to steal from the people he should be treating and, 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 and pawning their stuff and selling it off. And yeah, he's a bit of a douche really. And then one night when he's out working, the ambulance that he's in the back of He's involved in, a, in an accident and the ambulance turns over and he sadly, tragically loses the, the, the use of his lower body. So he can't use his legs and he becomes confined to a wheelchair. This obviously takes a massive strain on his relationship with his girlfriend, Vanessa. She's out working, trying to bring in wages to cover two of them. He's on benefits. He's more or less spending most of his time in his apartment, can't get out and about. He's depressed and he goes down this journey of just becoming more and more psychotic and, 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 and losing it. This puts a strain on the relationship. She leaves him. He misses her. He goes more psychotic. He kidnaps her. And that's the first sort of 20 minutes of the film, first 25 minutes of the film. And then the rest of it, I don't want to say too much. I probably will without spoiling it, but that's what happens. So the, the build up to this film, I was thinking this, this looks quite decent. I like the premise of it. It's interesting. It's quite interesting that he starts off as a dark character because, you know, we do tend to start with, with people that we like. So let's see where this story goes. But I don't feel like after that 25 minutes that the, the, the story went in any particular interesting directions. Everything that happens after that first half an hour or so, which, you know, what massively spoiled anything that happens after that first half an hour, none of it massively grabbed me. I thought the build-up was good, but then the potential it had, it just didn't live up to. Um, everything else was just a bit... Uh, that's all right. I feel like if I gave you a post-it note and said, you, you, you write down what you think happens, you, you, you do it because it's, it's a sentence or two and that is the film and that is where the film falls flat. This had a lot of potential. Um, what I think the film misses out on is Angel is obviously able-bodied, then he goes to being physically disabled, but the transition of him, you know, being able to walk and use his legs and then being in the wheelchair is, is more or less, a, a, you know, 30 seconds. It just jumps from one to the other. So the, the the film misses out on the journey of him dealing with, I've lost my legs, the, the use of my legs, you know. There's no, there's no time spent in a hospital. There's no conversations with doctors. It just jumps from one thing to the next, which 
you know, maybe the filmmakers thought, Let, let's crack on because we want to get to the, 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 the main bit of the story where we see him wheelchair bound. But I feel like there could have been some development in his psychology and, and, and his, 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 his psychological state to see how he's feeling about that. But we don't get that because, because he's dark to begin with. And after the accident, he's still dark. We don't see a lot of character progression in, in Angel. If you think about something like Breaking Bad, uh, for those of the, for the millions of us who've watched Breaking Bad, we start off with Walter White being a, a, a nice guy. And, you know, he's not perfect, but he's, he's more or less a nice guy. And then he, he descends into this very not nice guy. So you see that journey of him being a lovely guy and then he becomes a guy that we all really don't like. And, you know, I think the, the creator once said that, you know, I want you to turn this character from Mr. Chips into Scarface. So you, you see this real journey of this guy who we love and then all of a sudden we start hating him. But Han, Han Hell's a douche to start with. So where, where do we go from that? We, we've got nothing else to, 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 to see about that. And I think if you've seen films like Falling Down or even the recent unhinged film starring Russell Crowe, where you've got these characters and they're on a war path and everything's negative, you, you get where this film's going and that's not a, a you know there's no huge spoilers in that it, it, it's just that type of film but there was so much potential after that first half an hour there were so many interesting avenues this story could have taken and it doesn't really take any any take it doesn't really go anywhere after that like i say i think you can more or less guess what's going to happen for the last hour of the film it's a 90 minute film and that's not really spoiling anything it's just not that special and like i said in my basic spanish at the beginning the film's not that great it's all right it's less than all right actually it's just, yeah it's yeah 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 so my star rating for the paramedic or el practicante to give it its correct spanish title is drum roll two stars so that's just my opinion, but I'm always interested in your opinion. If you haven't seen this film, are you still interested in seeing The Paramedic? Or are you thinking, nah, I'll probably just forget it. If you have seen it, did you think, well, it was decent, the story was just fine? Or did you think, nah, it all flatlined? Please, let's have a conversation. Leave a comment on the video, give the video a like, and please subscribe to the YouTube channel so you're notified every time a new film is released. Thank you for watching this review. I appreciate your time, and please check out the next review that I stick up on the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Hasta luego. Adios. Thank you.